Minor pediatric. Now we will discuss Wilson disease. Wilson disease is also known as hepatolenticular de degeneration. It is inherited as autosomal recessive condition. Associated with liver disease, degenerative changes in brain, and KF ring in cornea. Pathogenesis of Wilson disease is uh, due to malfunction of ATP7B. Mm, ATP7B lies on chromosome number 13 and and it is responsible for biliary copper excretion and copper incorporation into ceruloplasmin. If there is malfunction then there is mm, increase there is uh, uh, decrease copper excretion and there is decreased uh, copper incorporation into the ceruloplasmin as a result of which free copper gets deposited in liver hepatocytes, uh, brain cells and kidney. Clinical features uh, includes hepatic Wilson disease. In children, liver disease is the most common manifestation. Uh, it may present as a asymptomatic hepatomegaly or acute liver failure or subacute liver failure or chronic liver failure or having feature of portal hypertension in the form of ascites, variceal bleed, splenomegaly. Neurological Wilson disease usually present in more than 20 years of age. Uh, it includes intentional tremor, dysarthria, dystonia, choreocytoid movement, decreased school performance, and behavioral changes. KF ring is present in 50% in hepatic Wilson disease and 95% in neurological Wilson disease. Psychiatric changes include anxiety, depression, o OCD, or psychosis. There may be Coombs negative hemolytic anemia as a early part of the disease may present as a renal Fanconi syndrome unusual manifestation of Wilson disease may present with arthritis pancreatitis cardiomyopathy recurrent miscarriage nephrodiathesis etc pathology it mimics uh, non alcohol fatty liver disease in earliest manifestation includes uh, mild steos steososis with with progression fibrosis cirrhosis may be present mm, diagnosis uh, with clinical suspicion and copper indices confirm the diagnosis there is a decreased serum ceruloplasmin less than 20 mg per deciliter there is increased urinary copper excretion which is normally less than 40 microgram per day and in Wilson disease increased to 100 microgram 2000 microgram per day and in equivocal cases we give D penicillamine 500 milligram 12 hour apart and we measure um, urinary co uh, copper excretion which may increase up to 1600 microgram per day. KF ring we can see uh, but uh, may be absent in younger patient. Liver biopsy is the gold standard and uh, hepatic copper content uh, is more than 250 microgram per gram of triphate. Mm. Screening of first degree relative by urinary copper excretion, serum ceruloplasmin level and detection of DNA mutation. Now treatment. Uh, after diagnosis, uh, uh, treatment includes non-pharmacological measures in the form of dietary restriction um, of copper to less than 1 microgram per day. Avoid source of copper like chocolate, shellfish, liver, etc. In all symptomatic patients, start with chelating agent like D-penicillamine and triatine. Dose of both the chelating agent is 20 mg per kg per day. Due to more serious side effect of deep penicillamine, some of the pediatricians consider the as a first line of drug. 
uh, one thing we have to remember the rating agent should not be stop abruptly uh, and with the use of chelating agent there is a marked improvement in hepatic neurological and there may be disappearance of kf rings other third chelating agent is ammonium tetrathiomolybdenate zinc zinc can be used as adjunct therapy or maintenance therapy or primary therapy in symptomatic children mechanism of action being it impairs uh, copper absorption from gut other therapy includes antioxidant in the form vitamin e and curcumin and pharmacological chaperones both of the drugs are in research prognosis most of the patient die due to liver failure due to renal failure due to hematological complication liver transplantation in turn in case of uh, acute liver failure 85 to 95 percent five year survival rate and uh, early treatment of pre-symptomatic individual with zinc might prolong the lifespan thanks for watching